Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Creative Minecrafting. For today's episode, I wanted to take you on a quick walkthrough tour of this house that my friend and I share on our server. I know a lot of people uh, play on multiplayer servers, but I don't know how many of you guys out there uh, also share a house with someone. Uh, so I wanted to show you how we've approached it, the sharing of resources and housing and uh, setting up a roommate situation where we each have our own space in here. So here's a house, big nice grand house that we built together and we'll take a look inside, show you how we designed and approached the roommate situation. Uh, this is all common area down here on the main floor with the dining room and kitchen dining room over here or your little dining kitchen table over here. Uh, here's our kitchen, mostly cosmetic except for this dispenser with food and this uh, garbage dump that we put any unwanted items in. And here's a couple custom paintings you've seen in, in some of my other videos with a pantry and a spice rack. So this is all common area and we've got two more floors to take a look at. This next level up is also common area. We've got a, a bar over here with a uh, liquor cabinet painting that uh, customized by myself and a couple cabinet paintings that you've seen in other videos. We've got a pool table area over here. Grass blocks for the pool table, trap doors around it. A glowstone pool table light with the wood slab paintings surrounding it to make it look nice. There's a custom a pool cue rack painting image and a snowball in an item frame as a chalk cone. An enchanting room over here with the uh, enchanting table of course and a seating area with more library space. So this again is another common area we're still building down here but the I wanted to especially show you this third floor this top area with a nice open ceiling we each have our own bedroom on either side of this. So we'll go ahead and take a look at my bedroom real quick. To personalize our own spaces, I made these custom painting images in Photoshop with our heads on some old uh, vintage painting images. I think it's a really cool touch to have uh, your own personal painting in your own room. And uh, before we get to my friend's room on the other side, we'll take a look at this dual entrance uh, bathroom here that uh, is in between our rooms. This is a, a mirror image on either side of, of the bathroom so we each have our own space. Cauldrons with water as sinks in the middle with levers for water spouts. Another custom painting in here. Some privacy screens made out of the birch wood of the walls to separate our toilets. Just uh, half slabs with a white wool block and a button on the side and we each have our own shower. You can see one on either side with glass panes, tripwire hook for clothing and towels and it drops down a half slab into the tub. Another button here and a, another lever for water. So like I said dual entrance so we each have our own uh, semi-private bathroom. We've seen each other naked so I'm not worried about him seeing me in the shower. And we'll go through to his side of the room. Uh, another custom painting here. He's got a dartboard another liquor cabinet with a bar in here and here is his custom painting with his image another one that I made in Photoshop again I think it's really cool just to have your own custom really personalized paintings in your own bedroom a couple more painting images some speakers wood speakers and a really cool painting so yeah I think this is really cool roommate setup where we each have our own space but we're also sharing uh, the building of the house and resources and speaking of resources I'll take you really quickly down to our shared uh, basement storage area. Along with the house we also share and divide up all our resources so we either one of us can uh, add to this and come in and take whatever we want when we need it. A whole wall of furnaces I imagine we'll probably knock out some of these furnaces to make room for more storage as we get more things but Here's how we approach the sharing of resources. Down here, plenty of storage, plenty for everyone to share, another trash can down there. And uh, yeah, that's just a really simple, quick walkthrough of our roommate situation and how we have designed a shared living space. 
So I hope you like this quick tour. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys do something on your multiplayer servers with, where you share a living space with someone else. Hope you liked it. Please like and uh, comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more creative Minecrafting. Thanks everyone and uh, keep your eyes out for another video coming up soon. Thank you.